What's going on, Microdonal friends? It is your friend Jack here coming from the basement. And in today's video, we're going to be going over my Cardano portfolio. This is pretty much my crypto portfolio, but for the purpose of this video, everything in it is somewhat linked to Cardano in a way uh, for the most part. And I want to explain my thought process behind my portfolio. I'm going to be sharing you the percentages, including the percentage of my portfolio that is valued. Uh, as Cardano NFTs. So if you're interested in this, first I'm going to show you how I did it real quickly, then I'm going to dive into the numbers and explain why I have percentages of each one. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So if you're interested in the Cardano NFT side of things, you can go to this website, cnftwales.com, and you can go over ahead, put your uh, you know stake addresses into this spot right here, then calculate how much roughly your Cardano NFTs are worth at floor value, um, and it's going to give you a pretty decent estimation. Now, this is by no means perfect. Uh, there are some outliers, but it is pretty cool to see a good estimation of how much your Cardano NFTs are actually worth. In my case, it was a lot more percentage of my portfolio than I actually initially thought. With that being said, to track the other parts of my portfolio, I simply went over to CoinMarketCap, and what I did was I added in all my positions. I've been doing it for quite a while now. It's pretty simple to add in. You can add in your average buy price. You can add in anything you want. And what I also did was I added in my Cardano NFT value. So I calculated the ADA value to USD, and I added it in um, as a separate asset, as a separate token at, called CNFT, just as a temporary placeholder. So with that being said, let's go look now at my actual portfolio and what it's looking like percentage wise as you can see um for the most part this is cardano based portfolio and this is right now going to change a lot over the next one to two to three months it's going to change drastically a lot of this ada will be portioned out into other projects uh, like sunday swap the dex maladex so mal token and whatever other projects come up, I'm going to be investing a lot of this 72% of ADA into the ecosystem on Cardano to really kind of accelerate the gains and put some more, um, you know, Cardano or value into these projects that have more room to grow. Also, I want to see these projects grow. So it's kind of like I'm investing in something that I want to see work. The better the projects do, the better ADA does at the base layer and so on and so forth. Now, for the other parts of my portfolio, CNFTs. I really like CNFTs. This might be an underestimation, 70% uh, in value. I do have a lot of NFTs, you know, I think close to a thousand now. Um, a lot of those are decent projects that are pretty, you know, valued at a pretty penny. And also a lot of those NFTs, uh, you know, they're not exactly perfectly scored on the calculator um, in terms of rarity and how much they're willing to go for. That being said, I think this is pretty fair because it's not the easiest thing to sell all your NFTs and liquidate, uh, you know, just get all that into ADA because, you know, not everyone is going to be there to buy at the exact second you want to sell every single NFT in your wallet. Also, that being said, I don't really plan on selling any of the NFTs anytime soon more or less collecting and also a lot of them are investments but um for the most part i'm not going to touch them they're really just holding for the long term much like the remainder of my portfolio ergo you know i bought ergo or i swapped some ada for ergo a little while back i made a video on it and then it went down 50 percent whatever no big deal i'm holding it for the long term so to me it doesn't really matter my cardano position is down um from my total Cardano around 50% as well. And then also my S down Ajax are not directly Cardano related, but Ajax Singularity Net is having a bridge come to Cardano. So pretty related. Ergo is going to be compatible or interoperable with Cardano. And they're kind of alike in many ways using the same EUTXO model. That's why I think it's kind of a Cardano portfolio, but Ergo is its own blockchain nonetheless. And yeah, SDAO and Ajax are very small portions of my portfolio. I bought these with my McDonald's money a while back, and I've just kind of left them there. In short, my portfolio is made up of things that link back to Cardano. Now, am I going to sell much of this anytime soon? Probably not. The only things I'm going to be selling is what I need to sell to cover taxes. Yes, weirdly enough, I do pay my taxes. Also, talking about you know investing and what my goals are, which you should probably have too, 
my goal of this is to sell as little as possible, just the taxes, as I mentioned. And the reason for that is because I believe that cryptocurrencies, Cardano specifically, are going to be the next generation of the web and financial operating systems. Therefore, I think they are a wonderful investment to you know, give yourself financial freedom, give yourself the time to do what you want to do. And that's the ultimate goal here for a lot of people. But also, I believe that working with them, working on them, investing in them does give a lot of purpose to people's lives, which I think is awesome, too, because ultimately, we're not just here to make money um, as much as that's pretty much why a lot of people are here. And that's why everyone gets into the space in most cases. But we're here to make a better system financially and also for, you know, the next generation of the web, just being more transparent and more accessible to everyone across the globe. All right. And that's my little rant for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are interested in my portfolio. Little video here today. If you guys have any questions or want to hear any more about my personal investments or experiences, please let me know down in the comments as I always like doing these videos. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great freaking day. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.